It's January 2012 and I'm sitting on a plane returning to Papua New Guinea, this raw diamond that acts upon me as a magnet. I have travelled extensively around the world, but have yet to find a place as exciting as this. Its diversity, its majestic unrefined natural beauty and warm and curious people who make you feel instantly at home. My purpose this time is to meet with a small expedition team to search for an aircraft lost in the murky waters of New York. Catch any of these fish? No? On September 11, 1945, an Australian military transport aircraft with 19 souls on board never made it to its destination. Radio contact was lost only a few minutes after the plane took off into a heavy tropical storm, and a few items of flotsam were discovered a few days later in the Bay Area, close to the airport. All efforts made by the authorities to find the lost Dakota proved to no avail. Sixty years later, the Australian historian Bob Piper had been digging through the official archives and providing us with documents and maps that gave us a rough idea of what had happened and where to start looking. Rod Pierce, a legend in PNG diving and salvage, an owner and captain of the motor vessel Barbarian, had recently purchased a towed side scan sonar. This was to provide us with the necessary underwater three dimensional imagery and we were going to comb every inch of that bay, hoping to find a more or less intact fuselage. On a spot dubbed Site 6, we found a wreckage, but not in the state we had anticipated. The wreckage showed obvious signs of high force impact, and pieces were scattered over a large area. We spent weeks mapping, taking pictures and video, most of the time in zero visibility. 
the thought of sudden encounters with sharks and crocodiles is at the back of your mind at all times. We had many setbacks. It was as if our small expedition was haunted. Rod's old mother suddenly became ill, forcing him to return to Australia, which left us without his technical savvy. We had problems with the bolt engine, the diving compressor, the dredging pump we intended to use in the search among the wreckage of the plane. All problems which made us lose valuable time and which could have stopped us completely had it not been for a few helpful locals. We didn't manage our primary goal, which was to find a positive proof of ID to send to the Australian authorities. But the footage taken was enough for our aviation experts to confirm it is effectively a Douglas DC-3 Dakota. The only one registered as lost in the Milner Bay area is our Dakota, so we know we are on the right spot. Vi skal jo bare af med liftbakken. Skal jeg finde ud af hvordan vi får propellerne hele vejen ud af vandet? Kan det lade sig gøre? Ja, kom så. Så fik vi det hele vejen op. Yes. 